Lewis Hutchinson was born in Scotland sometime in the year 1733. Little is known about his early life, but it is assumed that he studied medicine for a time before setting sail for the island of Jamaica. It was here where he would earn several names including the Mad Master and most notably the Mad Doctor of Edinburgh Castle becoming not only the first serial killer in Jamaica's history, but also its most prolific. The man would become so well known that his notorious home would become an integral location in Assassin's Creed III, the video game. Hutchinson's legacy begins when he somehow manages to acquire the Jamaican estate known as Edinburgh Castle. While it is known that Hutchinson was not the most upstanding of citizens, it is believed that he came by owning the property through legal means. But after arriving in Jamaica and settling into his new home, locals began to disappear, and it wasn't long before attention turned towards Hutchinson. Not only because these disappearances began just after his arrival, but because of their location. You see, Edinburgh Castle was the only populated location on the route to St. Anne's Bay, and as people began to disappear, Hutchinson became the subject of inquiry. Because the castle was the only location on the route to the bay, travelers would often rest there on the long journey. And this is when Hutchinson would strike. Now Hutchinson himself was not picky, and it is assumed that he simply got off on the thrill of the kill, as he would take the lives of anyone and everyone regardless of shape, size, race, or income. The truth behind the killings is a bit of a mystery, but accounts of the time indicate that Hutchinson would shoot travelers and then feed off of the blood of his victims before dismembering them. Other accounts indicate that he would feel untouchable at his height and even invite and entertain guests in his home, then killing them. Several sources indicate that Hutchinson, after he had finished with his victims, would have his slaves dispose of the bodies and their assorted parts in a large sinkhole for animals to feed on. Hutchinson never tried to stay under the radar, and his notable presence and debauchery made people avoid him out of fear. His own slaves would detail the murders of those who would listen, and even go on to account their own terrible treatment to little avail, something that may have allowed him to go unpunished for so long. But Hutchinson would eventually go too far and force the authorities' hand after an English soldier was killed by Hutchinson as he attempted to take him in. Knowing that he had gone too far, it seems, Hutchinson fled and tried to leave Jamaica, but was captured by Admiral Rodney, commander of the Royal Navy, before he could make his escape. Hutchinson would be tried and eventually hanged in 1773, but it is still unclear just how many lives he claimed during his tenure at Edinburgh Castle. A search of his home would find 43 watches and a trove of random clothing of his various victims. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Case Files. If you'd like to support the show, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button. And if you want more content, remember to hit that notification bell. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.